Thank you, Holy Spirit, for showing me what love is. Because I felt love from you, Jesus, from your heart that loves me and all of us so much. You poured your love in my mother's heart. And I even felt her love she had for her sugar daddy, Abba Jean Matthews. And it made me strong. And now I know that my mom really loves someone. And it taught me and put love in my heart for you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for everything you have done for me. Thank you that when I fall down, you will help me back up, Jesus, because we all fall short of the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus, for waking us all up this morning. Thank you, Jesus, for helping us to understand the Holy Bible uh, with our hearts. That's even how you show us love, Jesus, so we can learn how to read the, and understand the Holy Bible with, with our hearts that turn us to love. Holy Spirit, you are powerful. You are love. You are hope. You are grace. You are faith. You are belief. You are the love that created the Holy Spirit. Without that, we wouldn't know what love is. So... If that happened, you you will always show love to everyone. You love the whole world, Jesus. The love is in the Lamb's hands that loves us so much. He gave his only begotten Son, who should not perish but believe and have everlasting life. Thank you, Jesus, for helping me create music. Thank you, Jesus, for putting me in all sports and won the glass trophy and the volleyball trophy when I was a teenager. You did that for me, Jesus, and you and other people ought to know you can do a lot for them, but it's just the devil that has to be rebuked out of everybody's heart. That way we can move forward and take the next step of either saving somebody's lives, helping somebody with their needs, pray for somebody. We, you can do that for us, Jesus, and you already have done that. We have to believe in order to receive. Because you are holy, Jesus, you are the Holy Spirit of love. The Lamb died on the cross and poured His Holy Spirit blood in all our hearts and souls. That way we will eat the bread of the body of Christ and the blood that He shed. And drink the blood that He shed of Christ. So, if I ever... And if I don't know what to do sometimes, please, Lord, help me. Because you said on the cross, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Which I had a meaning that we don't know what we sin for. And we make mistakes. We fall short of the glory of God each and every day. But you always help us back up, Jesus. And that's how... We can show our love to you by obeying you, Jesus. And we really love you so much. I love you so much from my heart that you help me predict the prison doors to open. You help me create Gerber babies out of my womb. You help me with every need I ever needed. You help save, save my mom's life, Jesus. Through me, you put your Holy Spirit 
love in my heart to save my mom's life. And I already did that eight times. So I know you have something in the future for me, Jesus. Like to even get my kids back from foster care and to save their lives. Save my brother's life. Save all my family's lives. And to pray. To have love in my prayer hands for the Holy Spirit. So we can have eternal life. For, and to have love in my prayer hands for the Holy Spirit. To pray for the enemy and to love the enemy. Because you are awesome, Lord. You gave us the Holy Spirit in our hearts. With love. And that's powerful. You so powerful, you created the Holy Spirit with love. And I love you for that, Jesus, because wouldn't nothing be here. That's why we need help rebuking the devil out of all our hearts. Because we do get tempted. We do make mistakes. We do fall short of the glory of God. But you you are so holy, Jesus. You helps us. You loves us from your heart, Jesus. And that's a blessing as I count my blessings. One, the Holy Spirit, God created the Holy Spirit with love. Two, God poured his Holy Spirit blood of love in all our hearts and souls when the Lamb died on the cross. Three, you helped me create Gerber babies, Jesus. That I love so much. Four, you helped me save my mama's life eight times. Five, you helped me save my cousin's life two times that made it to the military army. And my mom even worked for the military. Six, you helped me with all my needs. The needs that I can't even think of ask for, but you put it there. Before I even think of ask for it, and it's it's the need that's there. Seven, you helps us rebuke the devil out of our hearts. Eight, you gave me a roof over my head. You put clothes on my back. You prepare as a table in the presence of my enemies. Nine. You even helped the disciples, servants, prophets, and apostles with the Holy Spirit in their heart, the love of the Holy Spirit in their heart to write the Holy Bible, which means on our Lord yearly basic instructions before leaving earth. Ten, you helped me. Excuse me. Ten, you helped me. Help my grandma when she was still living and help me to see you walking with the cross, Jesus, in 2,000 years. And my grandma lived six years after I seen you walking with the cross. So that's 10. So I'm going to leave it at that, like the Ten Commandments. Love God, the Holy Spirit with all your soul, heart, and mind. And love thy neighbor as you love thyself. I love you, Jesus, from my heart because you can feel that I love you. If you didn't feel that I love you from my heart, I will weep what I sow. So I'm sowing that seed of love in my heart for you, Jesus, for my kids, family, and the enemy. And thank you for showing me how to plant that seed with love in your Holy Spirit heart, Jesus, for us. So we can learn how to love others when we read our Holy Bibles with our hearts. 
I pray this in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.